Welcome to Jazz Time. JazzTime.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. If you would like to know the price, simply click on the link in the description below. If you enjoy our videos, we'd greatly appreciate it if you would buy a watch from Jazz Time. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Rolex or comparing the Rolex Submariner 16610 versus the Rolex GMT Master 2 Pepsi reference 16710. I'm going to compare the dials, the bezels, the case, the bracelet, the movement, try it on, each one on, and give you my thoughts. So let's take a dive right in. Let's take a look at the bezel since that's the most obvious part that's different. Now the Rolex uh, bezel is black. Obviously you see this one on the GMT is Pepsi. The Pepsi also comes in a variation of black and red or all black and if you notice the difference is it has uh, our two hour graduated markers as in 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 so on and so forth whereas the Submariner because it's be supposed to be used for elapsed time it has um, these first uh, hash marks until it gets to 15 and then it has five minute markers here because it's used to calculate elapsed time. For example, you put the triangle there and it calculates elapsed time. Now on the GMT, this uh, bezel is actually used to calculate uh, second time zone. So you see this red hour marker here, it's at 14. That means that it's 2 p.m. somewhere else. That makes sense? That's why these bezels have this different look to them, aside from just the color. It also actually has a function, okay? Now let's talk about the case. The case is actually the same. It's using an Oyster 40 millimeter case. That means from my thumb to my index finger, if you look at them in this direction, they're the same. And actually, if you look at them in um, like side by side, they're also the same. Now, they, they have a different case number. The one on the left, the Submariner is a 16610. The GMT is a 16710. But uh, fun functionally, they look the same uh, and they pretty much are the same, okay? Now, let's talk about the dial. So the dial, I don't, you know, so some of these things are kind of obvious. The words are different. Okay, fine. But what is what else is really different? Well, they both have the date function. I think that's really cool. But the GMT goes one step further and offers you a second time zone. That's what this, this red line is for. Now, the Submariner doesn't do any of that. It just tells you exactly what time it is and gives you the date. And it allows you to check elapsed time. Whereas the GMT has more functions, it gives you a second time zone. In fact, it even does a third time zone if you use this bezel correctly. I, I might have failed to mention the bezel on the GMT is bi-directional um, and then the Submariner is unidirectional and that's because the Submariner is used to calculate elapsed time. Okay, so aside from that, I mean, the dials, do they look pretty similar? Yeah, they both look very similar and they both luminous in the same way, you know, depends on which watch you like. Actually, both of them are very iconic. Uh, both, these are probably the two best sellers and most sought after Rolexes and that that Rolex makes. Now let's move on to the bracelet. Now the bracelet, uh, um, it looks identical and almost identical. It's both using the Oyster bracelet. Now you'll notice that this one has a, a, a single end piece, the, uh, the Submariner, whereas the GMT has a two piece end leak. Now that's only because I'm holding a 2007 Submariner and this GMT is from like 1997, so the 10 years apart. But had they been the same age, they both would have had this two piece end link or this single end link depending on the year. Now let's look on the bracelet. They both use this same similar bracelet, but that but it changes when you uh, open the bracelet. And the reason is because here's what the, the GMT has a different function. It's not meant to go diving, but the Submariner has underneath this buckle a release that makes it even bigger that can fit underneath your wetsuit. Does that make sense? It's um, it's a deployment, I guess. I don't know what it, you'd call that. But anyways, it makes it bigger. Like if you press it right here, you pull it, and then it makes it super big to fit over your wetsuit. And that's because the purpose of the Submariner, again, is for diving. The purpose for the GMT is for flying or knowing the time zone in different places. So hence, you don't need such a huge buckle if you're only telling time zones and you're not diving with it. Make sense? All right, well, I think I've gone through pretty much everything. I mean, uh, I, I said I talked to you guys about the bezel, the dial, the case, the bracelet. Oh yeah, the movement. Okay, so the movement in the uh, Submariner is the 3135, 3135. It's been around for like 30 years. It's tried, tested, they use it on the date just 36. The um, 
the GMT uses a 3185, and that's because it has a second time zone. It's a little bit more complicated. And it's also been replaced um, by a 3186 and, and so on and so forth. But uh, yeah, they're both really good movements. They all plus minus seven seconds a day with a power reserve of 48 hours. They're really great. You know, they're just good. You can't go wrong with them. Uh, and they're not cheap to service, like $700. If you think $700 is not cheap, it could be much worse, like an AB or a paddock, which might cost 2000 Okay, so I told you I'd try it on and give you my thoughts. Uh, you know, I really uh, have to say positive things about both um, because, well, they both are iconic watches. The Submariner, you know, it was a 007, as in James Bond watch, and it was iconic. You know, Sean Connery wore it, a bunch of famous actors wore it. A lot of famous have actors and singers and celebrities and regular people wear this watch. It's one of the most common sports watches. It's probably one of the reasons why uh, modern sports watches look the way they do because of this watch right here. So there could be a case for that. Now, the GMT, on the other hand, with this color, was made for Pan Am. I don't know if it was made for Pan Am, but certainly you know, notoriety because of Pan Am. And it looks, I just love the color. I th it's also iconic. And you really can't go wrong with either. I mean, look at them side by side. You know, heck, if I had the money, or if you had the money, rather, you should buy both. Now, if you don't have the money and you can only buy one, we're actually selling both of these watches at jazztime.com. In fact, we're making this video so customers like you who are sitting at home watching YouTube can simply click on the link in the description below. Yes, you can. You can click on it, find the watch on our website, press buy now, pay us, and this watch will be on your desk. So if you like this watch or you like our video, subscribe and buy a watch from Jazz Time. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos and if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.